And with designer Eugenia Trandos back on Morning Live talking about the rental climate ahead and what to expect in 2022 with uh, so many delays and product shortages. Uh, so how we can uh, successfully create and plan a rental, a rental at home. Good morning. Good to see you. Hi, Bob. How's it going? Good, good. So uh, how, how much is COVID impacting rentals these days? Well, we're definitely still seeing the ripple effect that the pandemic has caused on our industry. Um, and it's less from a standpoint on concern on health, although that is still important, but more so with production delays and um, just overall keeping up with the demand. We're still seeing a rise in homeowners investing in their properties after having spent so much time at home. And contractors are, and trades are just kind of struggling to keep up with that. Um, we actually just lived this. We did a major renovation of our offices. We opened a storefront and a cafe, and we started our project in May, and we're still waiting for countertops. So what are the um, b biggest impact, like furniture, for example, how long are the ways, how bad are the delays? It's really not unusual to see delays um, being doubled. It's, it's, we're seeing sometimes furniture come in months after it's been ordered. And the challenges really vary. It could be from production to freight. Sometimes even if production isn't an issue and um, the product is ready, we're having a hard time having it delivered um, because freight is all backed up right now. So uh, a lot of clients um, for that reason are trying to to find other solutions like purchasing local. Uh, we're doing a lot of um, customized pieces of better quality from local artisans. Um, another reason why we're kind of driving clients into that direction is because we're seeing a lot of duties coming in for product brought in from overseas. Heavy duties, that means sometimes that the product mean, being made locally is um, equal in price or if not uh, more affordable than bringing something in from overseas. Yeah, so great excuse to, uh, another great excuse to uh, buy local. Uh, what areas are most impacted price-wise, and when do you see prices easing? Uh, we get this question a lot, and I don't know if we have a, I wish we had a crystal ball that can, you can answer this question. Um, I, I don't see them going down right now. I feel like uh, the demand is still high, and we still have projects booked right through 2022. Uh, pricing has increased right across the board throughout the entire industry, and uh, I, I honestly, I don't see it going down. Uh, um, I can't really say, but our fingers are crossed. <laughs> Yeah, so when we're planning, uh, how do we work around these delays and, and kind of work them into the project? Yeah, so planning is really key right now. I think that what we do, normally what happens is that we start our projects from the renovation and then move on to the decor. And usually we stagger the ordering process. And now what we're doing is we're really ordering everything as far as advanced and possible as possible, even if that means storing some product for sometimes months. Um, so we'll place orders for furniture and decor at the same time as construction material. And uh, then we'll store the product and that way it'll avoid delays when, it when it's time to install all of the different um, soft furnishings into the home. Uh, and even if you're the best planner, the best way to start a project with peace of mind is to set realistic expectations. I think that um, if you go into your project knowing that it's going to run late, it'll definitely soften the blow when you get bad news from suppliers. So really, patience is key. Uh, we're really fortunate. Our clients have been super understanding and we couldn't really ask for more, but I think that it has a lot to do with us setting very realistic expectations. Okay, well, there's more great advice and more great imagery as well from uh, some of your recent rentals from uh, Hebo Designs. Thanks so much, Eugenia Trandos. Good to see you again.